welcome back to the channel. Uh, I posted yesterday on my Instagram. I was gonna do a Q&A. We've got lots of questions to answer, so let's just get it started. Um, okay, so first one. Do spiders scare you? If not, what insects gives you the heebie-jeebies? I'm actually not afraid of insects, not whatsoever. Like, they don't bother me, whatever. I've seen some gigantic uh, camel spiders in my time and all that kind of cool stuff. None of that, so no, doesn't bother me. Um, what is my guilty pleasure? Okay, so for you guys who don't live in Canada, we have a place called Colonel's and they have like different spiced popcorn so you can get like jalapeno cheddar popcorn, dill pickles, all in here. That's probably like my guilty vice. I know popcorn's not that bad, but I could eat a monster bag of that in a day easily. So that's definitely one. Uh, do penguins have knees? I have no idea, but penguins are badass. Like they're cool dudes. Uh, what did you dream of last night? This is kind of a funny story. I didn't actually dream really too much last night, just mainly due to the fact that I've been pushing myself really hard in the gym lately. So I was waking up every like couple of hours to pee and stretch my body out a little bit. Um, uh, in a zombie apocalypse, if a kiss could turn those zombies human again, would you do it? No, I probably wouldn't. I like my, I like my solitude. Fuck you people, I'm okay, right? Um, what weird slash embarrassing thing can you find in your search history? Okay, so for you guys who don't know, really know me, um, I pretty much have the spelling of a fourth grader and I probably wouldn't have passed post-secondary a lot if I didn't have spell check and sometimes I just forget how to spell. So yeah, I look, I look up words, it's pretty embarrassing. What would be the coolest animal to scale up to the size of a horse? Oh, that's a good one. Probably a turtle. That's just probably because like, when I was a kid, I loved Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles are badass. You ever see four turtles walking around with a rat? Be careful, okay? Shit's gonna go down. Um, what would be the worst buy one, get one free sale of all time? I'm gonna go completely disgusting on this one and it'll probably be an STI. <laughs> buy one, get one free, you know? Don't be a fool, be safe. Which body part do you wish you could detach and why? I've actually kind of thought about this one a little bit and it would probably be my arm. Because sometimes I just want to rip my arm off and just slap people with it because they're being ridiculous. If peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter, what would it be called? Nut smash. Nut smash. How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? Ooh. I don't know, probably like anywhere between like 500 and 1,000 chickens. You can just pluck everything away from that elephant. Uh, I don't really want to think about that too much. Um, toilet paper over under. Over. If animals could talk, which one would be the rudest? Probably a raccoon. Those guys are assholes. Fuck everything up and just walk away. What is the best Wi Fi name you've seen? I, th I think it was. I think it was, yeah, it was Castle of Grey Skull 69. That's pretty sweet. Mm, do you have any secret dreams you rarely talk about but hope come true? No. No. I probably. I don't really dream too much. Um, so, I don't know, maybe I just don't remember them, or I don't get deep enough sleep. Usually I get deep enough sleep. What is your most embarrassing memory? Oh. Ooh. I'm going to have to think about that one. I'll get back to you on that one. Can you do the video with a deep voice? Pretty sure my voice is deep enough for all y'all, so that's enough. What makes you laugh? Okay. 
So the only reason I originally got social media was for dark memes. Cause I love a good meme. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I post a pretty good meme every once in a while. And so dark humor is my go-to one. What is your weirdest habit, not gym related? My weirdest habit, I've been, uh, people have commented on this, is I can't go to bed without my kitchen being clean. So like the dishwasher needs to be on, countertops need to be clean, stove and all that needs to be cleaned up. And not just like a wipe down where you wipe it on the floor, like I'll actually like spray it down, actually use proper cleaner and stuff like that and same with my sinks. Uh, use the same arm, raise it up and bend it. Can you touch your shoulder? Yeah, I can touch my shoulder. Flexibility, mobility, natural. Um, what is something most people do easily, but you have a difficulty with? Lately, I've noticed everyone can do a backflip. Like, I don't know if it's just maybe me and my own chemistry in my head, but there's no way in heck my six foot seven body is going to do a backflip. But everyone in the world, this is all, oh, backflip here or there. No. Is spot reduction still a myth? Yes, it is still a myth. What would you not do for $5 million? $10 million is my limit, tax-free. If you know, you know. $10 million, tax-free. <laughs> Some of these are just ridiculous. I'm not even gonna say them. I don't even know how that's a question. Are chips vegetables? No. Because chips are potatoes and potatoes are carbs, not a vegetable. Unless you eat those like vegetable strings, which aren't too bad if you dip them with uh, Caesar dressing. Um, the next one. How can I make my butt bounce less and be rounder? Squats, um, squats, and did I mention squats? Squats. Honestly, like it's a combination of uh, like dieting and training. And if you really want to do that, like get yourself a good coach, but definitely squat, squat, squat. And all of you, both man or woman, Stop skipping leg day. Right, Brady? Um, why does my bum wobble when I walk? Because she's thick. Can you design a workout where I don't lose weight from my boobs? Mm, it's almost, almost impossible unless you have breast augmentation, like body fat's body fat's gonna come off where it's gonna come off, right? Especially if you're getting super, super lean. It's, it's a happen. Which food is the most helpful for increasing bicep size? <laughs> I don't think there's one specific food, but I was probably gonna be like a real tool. I'd be like sushi and five guys. Five guys I don't eat, but a whole lot of sushi and just all the bicep curls, like curls for the girls. And make sure you do them in the squat racks too. Um, when do we get answers right now? Mm. This is a good one. Uh, bottled water or sink water? I'm super bougie, so I'm all about bottled water. I like my, my smart water, bottled water. I don't know, it just tastes better to me. Maybe because I live in like a small town or whatever, but it is what it is. Uh, more Winchesters. Yes, Jordan, we'll do some more workouts. The Winchesters will ride again. Um, we have been discussing maybe some costume workouts for leg days, but see how that goes. Um, are you able to touch your shoulders? Yep. Can you smush a watermelon with your thighs? Yes, I probably could. I probably could because I don't skip leg day. Do you think before you speak or speak before you think? I'm a huge think before you speak kind of person. I like contemplate it. I think about multiple choices. It's just who I am, what I am. Is muscle memory a real thing? 100% it is. It just sometimes takes a little bit longer or shorter times of period for people. Will you ever admit I'm your favorite internet creep? You take, you take it, you win. Um, do you ever get the urge to pick up short people and move them out of your way? <laughs> Um, 
yes, <laughs> sometimes I do. Um, sometimes I also get like slightly annoyed by how short step people take. That just maybe because I'm, I like to be a little more fast paced. Uh, what do you eat for breakfast? Oh, this is a good one. Right now, I am taking the sebum protein with some collagen, and this is my morning stack that I take every morning. I take those two, I have a couple bagels and pineapple right now, and sometimes I get peanut butter on them. Sometimes it cops out, it doesn't really matter for me. Um, do you ever wake up, look in the mirror and think, damn, I'm a beefcake? No, no, I don't really think that. I, sometimes I scare myself and I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, wow, you look horrendous. Uh, which Disney character are you? Ooh. Ah, um, when I was a kid, I'd probably say Peter Pan, but now, probably the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, that's probably me. <laughs> Besides blood, sweat, and tears, what is your favorite scent? So this is a funny story. I've been wearing Old Spice deodorant and aftershave since I was eight years old. Um, I started shaving at 11. So yeah, Old Spice, original. None of this BG Black Panther stuff, none of that. It's Old Spice originals. Um, what is your biggest nightmare? Mm, to be inadequate and not be at least striving towards my goals is probably my biggest fear and just being a complete and utter mess. Uh, a stress reliever outside of fitness that helps you improve your motivation. Um, for those who don't really know, I'm a huge, huge football fan, soccer people for the North Americans. Um, I love watching football. So like sometimes I will just put on football on the TV and I'll like, I'll clean my house or I'll just sit back, eat a meal and just enjoy the pastime. I thoroughly enjoy it. Sometimes I get a little too worked up in it and I get fired up. I will tell you though, if Manchester United loses in the day, probably in a shitty mood for the rest of the day. Sometimes it works out in my favor for the workout because I release that hate. That time's not so much. I think that's, that's it. Yeah, that's all the questions. There's a few other ones that I'm just not gonna answer. So they're a little either too private or they just don't make sense. But uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, I'm training legs tonight. Some people have copped out of legs, Clay, Brady. But I will be definitely uh, blasting my quads tonight. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, like I said. And I'll see you guys next time.